What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm doing some love reads for all of these signs. Ah. And I'm on the sign of Virgo. So the new spread I'm going to be trying out is three cards for how this person thinks about you. Three cards for how they feel about you. And um, three advice cards. Someone wants to come in really fast and have this conversation with you. And it could be an air sign for some of you. But I feel like it's someone that's kind of watching your social media. Maybe you have them on social media. Um, They've had some clarity recently about what it is that they wanted and who they would want, if they wanted to commit, who they would want to be with. And it, I guess it's you. You guys might have been with this person in the past. There might have been a breakup. There might have been some arguments. Just kind of no... Um, <laughs> maybe you weren't interested in them or vice versa. You, they might be in like your group of friends or someone you've met kind of when you're out. Um, the bottom is the judgment card, ten of pentacles, the sun card. And the four of wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but I feel like this person is very shy. Or maybe they just don't know. Um, they don't know if they have the courage to kind of approach you and talk to you first kind of thing. Um, I think they feel they see you as someone who is kind of defensive, someone who kind of pushes them away or shuts people out, or maybe you did shut them out, but they're really, they have a lot of anxiety over this, like they want to talk so bad, um, but it's like, it's in their head and it doesn't come out of their mouth, and it's like, someone like really um, wants to have a relationship, someone that like really has these feelings for you, um, or they did in the past. But I feel like maybe there was someone that you let go of. Um, someone where maybe there just wasn't a whole lot of action that was being taken at that time. Someone was really worried about things in their life, maybe money. Um, I feel like neither one of you, when you were involved in this, knew kind of what you wanted or, you know, were you really in a relationship that you know, I choose you, I want to be with you, and said it was a lot of mixed feelings, a lot of mental con conflicts, um, but I feel like in the back of their head, they've always waited, they've always been hopeful that you guys could, like, work together and, um, work this out, but instead there was a lot of arguing and kind of a lot of gossip and shit that surrounded this, um, they do see you as a wish comes true in their life. They do want to be together. They feel like it would be, um, emotionally satisfying, for them but let's get started on your reading so for the first card about how they think about you you have the ten of wands and you see this woman like kind of looking out the window and her head's down and there's like the bottom of her dress just started on fire and she doesn't even notice it's like I think what they think about you is that you 
one of two things you can handle a lot of stress well like when everything seems to be going wrong you still kind of keep your cool and two i don't even think you understand how hot or beautiful you are to this person like they see you as like electric you know almost electrifying and um maybe this is someone that kind of wanted to help you with things um before because they saw you as really stressed out they saw you as handling things on your own um this person's very wise or they see you as very wise for your age um and then you have the eight of pentacles so this talks about someone who's able to learn someone who is able to work efficiently someone who's able to learn new things um someone who's kind of getting better at changing um the way they learn things or changing the way that they do their work and i think that they see you as someone who's very um, book smart someone who's very um like effortlessly intelligent and um they think that i feel like they could go to you for advice or <clears throat> If you weren't able to handle a situation, you'd go and figure out how to learn how, or you'd teach yourself how to, to learn it a different way, no matter what was going on. Um, and then you have the temperance card. So we could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or this could be, oh, you know what, if it wasn't a fire sign for you as well, you could have helped them when they had a lot of things going on. Okay. Anyways, um, I think that you are able to balance yourself out when it comes to your emotions and your thoughts. You're someone who is able to um, kind of have this um, harmony and balance and kind of be this moderation. Stop! And then you have the lotus flower at the bottom with like the this water where it's like, you kind of went through a lot of things in your life where they see you as coming back like so much stronger and better after everything that you've been through you know um i think that um they see you as very beautiful the way that you're emerging now after everything you know the lotus flower can grow in mud you know so it's like you've literally um came through a, a lot of things so how they feel about you, you have the three of wands. This talks about someone who's kind of um, waiting. Someone who is kind of hopeful that in the future that you would choose to be with them. Um, stop! I'm sorry, my kids are stomping everywhere. They also see you as, this isn't how they see you, this is how they feel. So the Eight of Cups, someone who doesn't really talk about their emotions, but at the same time, I feel like this is changing. I think that this person has kind of always had these feelings for you, but they never really, they would kind of run from them. Or maybe you have changed how you um, handle your emotions. Maybe you don't run from your feelings anymore. And, um... Then you have the ace of swords there's something that they want to tell you there's something that they want like they want to have this conversation about something in your life that happened or kind of um you know if this person lied to you in the past if this person didn't choose you in the past something along that lines where they want to have an open conversation about things coming together in the future and I feel like their feelings have completely changed for you for the good and um, your advice is the king of wands so there again fire sign um, king of wands who had some tendencies in the past to be well this is the vampire so Mom. No, no, I'm doing a reading. Go. I never can be alone, ever. So, someone who kind of had some evil things or toxic traits in the past, 
someone who is better now. I don't even feel like their energy is even nearly as half as bad as it used to be in the past. I feel like this person is someone who is um, kind of taking the role of being this leader, having this courage, or maybe this is your advice, is to have courage in this situation where if you have these feelings for someone, you know, don't wait to tell them or um, express how you feel too. Because they're waiting, I feel like. There's someone that's been waiting or vice versa and they don't want to wait anymore. Then you have the moon card. Um, I feel like in the past, people were either lying or there was just this illusions because it's like you didn't know what was going to happen because there was a lot of fear because there were things that changed or whatever the case may be. And it's just like, I think this person maybe was changing when you were dealing with them and they didn't know. I mean, maybe they didn't even know what they were going through. You know, I feel like. And they are not, what they've never really told you is that they do want to have this relationship with you because then you have the full card. They do want to have a new beginning. They would do want to have um, things come together now, you know, um, because the judgment card talks about a final decision, like having this clarity, it's kind of having a wake up call. But at the same time, when it comes to a relationship, this is someone that she's looking back like she was on her way out to try something new and she's looking back this is someone who wants to come back and have another chance with you so someone from your past probably and i feel like what they want you to know is that they're stable now that they can provide stability that you guys together would be a stable ground to stand on um and then you have the four of wands so this is a stable relationship this is homecoming this person considers you a friend this can this person um even thinks of you in the marriage terms now you know, and um, then you have the sun card. This is happiness. This is enlightenment. Someone telling the truth. This is um, having a really good outcome now, you know, and I feel like someone needed to learn either the true definition of happiness or to find happiness on their own. I think that there's been a lot of things learned in this process for some of you. And um, it's like looking towards the future they could be they see themselves as really happy with you whereas in the past i think things kind of didn't they weren't stable things didn't really um come together that way someone was kind of more dependent on the other person but this person wasn't able to walk away from you this person just wants to have peace with you this person wants to be able to express themselves without it turning into a fight but maybe they were the ones combative in the past i'm not i don't really know what side but it's like someone can't move on from you they don't want you to move on from them. And they kind of seen things for what they were. They've seen things in themselves that needed to change and they think that they have. They want you to be able to forgive them so you guys can have a new beginning. Um, they were really self-centered. They were really um, dishonest. They were jealous. Um, they had toxic traits in the past, but I feel like all that's different now. This person's changed how they think. This person's changed how they do things. Um, they have improved quite a bit and they've recovered maybe if they had some addictions maybe someone got a new job or a home but this kind of helped them and it's kind of like put them on a new path where you know in the past there was like they didn't have that stability there and they probably kind of were emotionally manipulative they kind of um they could have even been abusive and with their words or just the way that they were period and now they've kind of flipped and did a 360 and um, they want to help you in the same way that you helped them in the past. They want to make things right with you. Um, they just don't, they have a lot of indecision on how to ha talk to you about everything. And um, I think that they feel like <clears throat> they didn't, you didn't, somebody didn't support somebody in the past. <laughs> Because it's like conflicting energies where maybe you both felt that way. But I think that someone just wants um, to be able to have respect or to give respect and have this balance of two people, have this partnership, have this deep love, you know, with patience and compassion on both sides. And um, it did kind of take a break for some for this to kind of come together. And um, I think that... 
while someone thought that was better to move on, someone isn't able to move on. And I think that they didn't realize that until one of them did take the steps to do that. So I feel like you did help them a lot. Maybe they were the ones who was always wound up and fired up about everything. And you kind of like calmly came in and explained things and tried to help them. And like you literally did change this person. And um, they want to give you this relationship. They want to give you a baby. They want to have this marriage. They want to try something new. They want things to get off the ground, not be so stressed out. For you to not have to be so tired. Um, they were just really scared to open up in the past, even though they wanted a stable ground. Um, they've always waited. They've always thought that things would get better in the future. Um, But instead, there was a lot of arguments and there was a breakup. For some of you, it was a divorce and they ended up being really lonely without you. Um, they don't know what to do without you. <laughs> Their happiness is with you and they want to have another chance. <laughs> What are the Romance Angel Oracle cards for um, What are the Romance Angel Oracle cards for the sign of Virgo? Ooh. They want to have a conversation where you guys kind of openly and honestly discuss your feelings. Um, for some of you, there were some red flags in the past. Um, somebody, there was some deception. There was some codependency. There was somebody who kind of relied on the help of friends or something to do with friends and all of this stuff combined but I feel like whether or not the codependency is still here which can be true but it's not always a bad thing some people just really do need to be with someone else and they that's where they find that comfort and maybe um you really did help them because you were a friend to them and I think that they just never really revealed that to you it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. There's a lot of chemistry here with you guys. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction. You know, you guys might have kind of um, tried to walk away from each other, but you still kind of find your way back to each other. And um, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That... They think that you're worth waiting for. So, like I said, they're waiting. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, I have to yell randomly at my kids in my videos. Just how shit goes sometimes. Have a good night.